three, four seconds in each nostril. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go in the one, do a little twirl, and I'll count for you, and I'll move to the other one. Many of us are familiar with this part of a COVID test, but what happens between getting the test and getting the results. From start to finish, it's about a you know three and a half to four hour process on the sample. Orchard Laboratories in West Bloomfield is one of the largest COVID-19 testing labs in the state. At the height of it, we did about 10 to 15 percent of this entire state's volume would find its way through here. Pre-COVID, the lab was a niche toxicology lab, but in April 2020, they pivoted to COVID, becoming the first private lab in Michigan to provide rapid real-time PCR results. At the very beginning, if we did, you know, 100 or 200, we thought that was an amazing day. I mean, it was, we started really at that level. And, and how many are you doing now? Uh, now we are over five, 6,000 a day every day. I wanted to see what happened after the swab left the nose. So that's where we started. We do not have to go as far back as we did a couple of years ago. Great. But I, I won't be shallow, but I'll make sure to be gentle. One, two, three, four. Other side. Once the sample arrives at the lab, stop number one is processing. This is my sample. This, this is your sample. This is where it starts, what's happening here. So Kevin here is inputting the sample into our system, so that way we have a proper way of tracking it through the testing process. Barcodes get attached to the sample and corresponding paperwork, and it's then stacked into a rack with 96 other samples. We actually run 384 well plates, which is four 96 plates combined. So we can, we have the capability of running 384 samples at once. Once all of the samples are racked and logged into the system, they head into what is called the hood for the most important and dangerous part of the process, deactivating the virus. If it were to, you know, get somewhere on the fume hood and it got on your skin or something, there's no way that that virus has any way of attaching to your cells and getting you sick. So deactivating means you're, you're killing the contagious part of the virus. Yes, but we are still keeping the portion of the virus that is going to go through the rest of the testing process. The samples next go into special machines to perform extraction. When it's finished, we have the RNA of either the virus or there will be no virus present. After that, they are then brought into a final smaller room where an extremely precise technician adds a master mix solution into 96 tiny holes. Then the patient samples eventually get added. All of the necessary components for the reaction to take place are getting added to every well. The trays spend an hour and 15 minutes inside a PCR machine. If we see the plot increase, then we know that the COVID genes are amplifying. Which means there's positive tests in there. Yes. Then they flag the positive samples and send the results where they need to go. We all as a team recognize that each sample has a story. This is someone has to have a surgery. Someone has to go on a trip or a vacation they've been planning for months and months, or just they're ang anxious. So until every sample is done, until those results are in those patients' hands, you know, these guys don't rest. Derek Kevra, Fox 2 News.